Hi guys, Anthony here from The Hot End. In this episode, I'm going to show you this monster, the little monster from TiVo. Okay, so TiVo were nice enough to send us over uh, one of these kits and another one's on the way for Dad. And um, I am blown away by the quality of this printer in comparison to other offerings from TiVo. Not to say that the other printers are necessarily bad, but this is definitely a huge step up in terms of build quality. The features of the little monster are a 32-bit controller board, which is Smoothieware. It is an MKS S-Base. That allows for much faster printing speeds and better accuracy due to the increased calculations that it can process on the fly. The build volume itself is 340 by 500. So you can see me sitting next to it here, the sheer size of this thing. It runs a floating extruder, which means you can see here, it's actually floating in midair, hanging off three rubber ties. And that allows for a much shorter bowed and extruding distance. So the extrusion or the distance between the direct drive and the hot end, which is an E3D clone, I believe, uh, also running a Volcano. So you'll be able to do nice big prints um, and get that plastic flowing nice and fast. So the distance here is only about 10 centimeters between the drive and the hot end. And um, that allows the benefits of both Bowden and a direct drive system. The printer also comes with the BL Touch as standard a silicon heated bed, so the, the bed will get up to temperature super fast. And the extrusion and all of the mechanical parts on this are non-generic, custom made specifically for the printer. Now, build was very, very simple. It only took me about one hour to one and a half hours to assemble the printer. Um, everything was pretty much pre-assembled with the exception of the bolt together. Much like the Trinus where most things were pre-assembled and all you had to do is bolt the frame together, basically this is what you have to do here. The hot end was all assembled, the rails are all assembled, um, the electronics are pre-wired, all you need to do is just run your cabling, tension your belts and bolt on the top and bottom frame and basically that's it, you're up and running. The manual itself was only about eight pages long, if that, because it is that simple to install and get printing. It has a few uh, really neat features built into the smoothieware. There's an auto calibration feature which you run when you first start the printer. And that basically does like a, a G29 full probe of the bed. And so then the smoothieware um, knows exactly the contours and the, any differentiation in the bed surface as well as its dimensions so it can work out the swing positions etc etc. So you can see by some of these prints here I've done some rather large ones. This one is nearly could probably do another two inches bigger and that would be the biggest of the print size and um, I'll put links to these prints in the description. These are printed at 0400 layer and I've actually swapped out the Volcano nozzle for an 80mm just to give me the fastest speed. I'll put close-ups of all of these prints uh, in the end of the video and links to ones which I've already done uh, via live stream or that I've already uploaded. I think the vase may already be uploaded but uh, if not I'll put pictures of everything will be at the end so you can have a look. Now just in comparison for size, this is that little Aztec that Dad printed on the Trinus. It is completely and utterly dwarfed by the um, TiVo little monster. So far I've had not many issues with the printer. It seems to be working fairly well out of the box. A couple of things which I would recommend you do is all of these connections here are labelled by the green tags, so it's pretty much foolproof. But it is pretty ugly even though it's fully assembled. So there are some um, things you can print, like a cover to go over these tags, or just give it a nice wrap of electrical tape just to neaten things up. We've got a coupon code as well for the little monster. The coupon code for this is the hot end, and the information for that will all be down in the description below. 
Part of the SmoothieWare functionality is um, with the colour touchscreen up here, you can print direct via SD, which is nice and handy, but it also has an Ethernet port. So if you've got um, network running through your house or you want to run a network cable to the printer like I'm doing, you can upload your prints to the printer via the Ethernet, your internal network, and that saves SD card shuffling, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's a 24 volt system, and up here, I'll put up some close-ups, it even has USB charging ports for when you want to do a time lapse on your GoPro or something, and it's just not going to last for the 12 hours or 20 hours that the print's going to be. You can have it charged directly from the printer itself. Most of the electronics are all up top, so out of sight, and I think they've done a really nice job in the way that they've laid the machine out. It is very sturdy, very strong build. The power supply also powers the 240 volt um, silicon heated bed, and that'll get up to 80, 100 degrees in you know, just a few seconds rather than a few minutes on other printers. I must say this has been one of the best out of the box experience printers that I've used um, so far. The build was dead simple. I mean, I did it in an hour, hour and a half without any help and with just an eight page manual. And I think this is a, like a beta, so the manual's gonna improve. You'll probably get a nice full color manual with yours. It runs optical end stops, which is a nice feature. One less thing to wear out. And um, yeah, overall, I really love this printer. It is most certainly a talking point in the room. It looks awesome when it's printing. I've set this up in the corner of the room and I'll be putting in some LED lighting and everything to make it look really cool and funky. And some of the support groups on Facebook even have the instructions and code on how to put in different lighting strips. So you can have a red lighting strip that'll come on when everything's heating and then that'll flick to a clear lighting strip when everything's up and running. As you know, I cannot stand ramps, so I'm super impressed that they've gone to the effort of putting in the smoothie wear. And to be quite honest, if I was building a Delta, there probably wouldn't be many things on this I would change at all. It even comes pre-installed with your part cooling fans on the side, your E3D possible clone, not sure, but it's a Volcano, beefy Titan extruder, BL touch, color touch screen, Ethernet, LAN. The connections on this are chunky and I'll show you shortly. So you can see by the connections that they are very, very high quality. The, the cables are big, thick and chunky, big enough, more than big enough to cater for the amperage that this is gonna draw, especially for the heated bed. And I am in love with this machine. It retails for eight, 12 pounds, which is, I think it's about the same in US because the dollar's pretty dodgy at the moment, or the US dollar's really good, but the pound's bad. So it's around the 799, 800 US mark. And uh, if you use the discount code that's in the description, you'll get a nice discount off that again. I'll be doing some follow-up videos to this. So this is the review, I love it. So being that this is one of my favorite printers that I've unboxed and built uh, ever, I would have to give this a solid eight out of 10. Um, there's a few tweaks that probably could be done in the SmoothieWare firmware itself, but that's simple, as because it's SmoothieWare, the actual configuration is done via a text file, which is on the memory card. So you can just pop out the memory card, pop it in your computer, alter a few lines of text into, your, um, into the text file, pop it back in, and there's no flash, uh, there's no firmware reflashing as such, it just reads your configuration file straight off the card. So yeah, I love this printer and I highly urge you to pick one up if you're interested in a Delta style printer or even a printer that prints large. The quality is magnificent, the build quality is just amazing, second to none, and they've really listened to the community and built something solid and this is a very special product. This may be a contender for the hot ends best printers of 2017, but we'll have to see what comes up. Anyway guys, I'll be doing some follow up clips, uh, follow up time lapses and videos of, of the printer as we go along. 
but I've had this now for a few weeks and um, initial impressions are that, that it is awesome. If you like our content, please subscribe. Smash that subscription button and ring the bell. It helps us out a bunch. We've just crossed 8,000 subscribers and that is amazing. Um, we thank every single one of the subscribers for tuning in and watching the content. It means a great deal to us. And we've also got Patreon there if you wish to join in and um, there'll be some Patreon rewards there which you'll see once you join if that's what you like to do. Let me know in the comments what you think about the printer, what you would improve if you were building your own from scratch, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys.